Welcome Stats Busters to question 20 and this one's all about alligators. Now there are actually two ways of doing this question. One is a slow way and one is a quick way. We're going to do the slow way first and then we'll have a look at what would have been a quick way. But you want you to see if you can spot what the quick way might be whilst we're doing the slow way. So it says the length of an alligator can be estimated by measuring the distance from its eyes to its nose. Okay, and that's shown by this distance here, from the eyes to the nose. And then multiplying that distance by 12. So with the bigger crocodile, it would be 17.5 times 12. That would give us an estimation of the length of that crocodile. And with a smaller crocodile, that would be 15 times 12. Now, the slow method is to actually work those two sums out. So 17.5 times 12. Now the easiest way to do this is basically to take your decimal point out. Ignore your decimal point and we'll put the decimal point back in at the end. So let's pretend we're doing 175 times 12. Okay, so we're just taking the decimal point out. So 175 times 12, we just do a magic zero method. 2 times 5 is 10. Put the zero in, carry the 1. 2 7s are 14. Plus this one is 15. Put the 5 in, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus the 1 is 3. So that's 350. Now these carried digits, just scribble them out because we've already used them. We don't want to use them again by accident. Now we're times by this 1. But remember, this 1 means 10. So times by 10, you can put your magic 0 in and then just times by 1. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1, 1,750. Add your two answers together, 0 and 0 is 0, 5 and 5 is 10, put the 0 in, carry the 1, 3 and 7 is 10, plus 1 is 11, put the 1 in, carry the 1, 1 and 1 is 2. So that's 2,100 centimetres. But wait a second, that 2,100 is when we did 175 times 12. It was not 175 times 12, it was 17.5 times 12. So we need to put our decimal point back in, one digit in from the end. So it's actually not 2,100, it's actually 210 centimetres. So the bigger crocodile is 210 centimetres. Now as for the smaller crocodile... We need to do 15 times 12. So again, let's do a magic zero. Let's see where that takes us. 2 times 5 is 10. Put the zero in, carry the 1. 2 ones are 2, plus 1 is 3. Scribble out your carry digit because you won't need it again. Now, this one here means 10, so you put your magic zero in. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1, so that's 150. Add your two answers together. 0 and 0 is 0. 3 and 5 is 8. And nothing and 1 is 1. So the smaller crocodile looks like it's 180 centimetres. So let's read the question again. What is the difference in the estimated lengths of these two alligators? So we just need to find the difference between 210 and 180. In other words, find the difference means do a subtract. So if I do 210 and subtract 180, my answer will be the difference in the estimated length between the smaller alligator and the larger alligator. 0 take away 0 is 0. 1 take away 8 we can't do, so borrow from the 2. The 2 becomes a 1, and the 1 we borrowed makes that into 11. 11 take away 8 is 3. 1 take away 1 is nothing, so that's 30 centimetres. So our final answer is 30 centimetres. Now I wonder if anyone's noticed that sometimes I've used the word crocodile in this video. Now that's because I really can't tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. They all look the same to me. So if you know the difference between an alligator and a crocodile, please leave a comment and let everybody else know as well.